In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to clean up and reduce noise in footage. First, showing a person. Then we're going to look at an outdoor scene that was shot at night. And just a heads up, we're going to be using DaVinci Resolve's studio. I'm not going to be teaching how to do this in the free version of Resolve because, quite frankly, it's pretty complicated. And it's one of the many reasons I switched from the paid version to the studio version. And if you're new here, I'm Ali, and Will and I release weekly videos all about DaVinci Resolve as well as videography and gear reviews. Coming up, I'm gonna be releasing an in-depth tutorial teaching you how to make someone's skin look better. So subscribe to stay tuned for that. And now let's get started. Now your footage might look noisy because you shot in a darker setting or because your footage was underexposed. Some degree of noise will make it look natural, but when it becomes distracting, that's when you want to reduce it. Okay, so we're in Resolve and if we zoom in here, you can see how noisy this clip is. Let's pop into the color page and in the effects panel library tab, type in noise and noise reduction shows up under Resolve effects. Drag it onto our node and in noise reduction settings, you wanna start with temporal NR before considering spatial NR because it's less processor heavy and in some cases it can do an adequate enough job of removing noise. Frames either side analyzes the number of frames you choose to the right or the left and tries to determine the average of what is detail and movement compared to what's noise. If you have a lot of movement in your clip, make this number lower. If you have minimal movement, you can make this number higher. I have some movement, so I'm going to set this to three. Let's change motion estimation type from faster to better, which will use more processing power, but better is better. Next, you can adjust motion range to let Resolve know how much motion it should take into account. I'll set it to medium for this clip. So nothing looks different yet. That's because we have to adjust the temporal threshold. Adjusting the luma or luminance will determine how much your noise reduction affects the brightness and darkness and adjusting the chroma will determine how much of the hue or saturation is affected. By default, the luma and chroma sliders are linked. They work together and I'm fine with that. But if you want to adjust these independently, you can uncheck loma chroma, <laughs> Lom oh my God, luma chroma, same threshold. If we increase these all the way to 100, it reduces noise. But the more you increase these sliders, the more unnatural things start to look. So I find somewhere around 30 to be a good balance between cleaning up the noise while not making things look too unnatural. I am okay with my skin looking slightly blurred to soften my pores and the fine lines on my face, but you don't wanna push this to a point where the person looks like they've had too much Botox. For motion, I tend to leave this at 50% and I also leave blend at its default. Okay, and let's check out the before and after. Nice. Okay, so I'm happy with these results. So in this case, I'm not going to further adjust this clip by altering spatial in R, but in the next example shot, we will be, and you'll see why. Okay, so here we have this clip shot outside at night of the CN Tower in Toronto, and it's quite noisy. In our effects library, let's drag noise reduction onto our node. And I have movement in this clip, more so than the last shot we looked at. So I'll make frames either side too. Again, change this to better and keep motion range at medium. Let's zoom way in here to get a closer look. And of course, keep in mind that zooming way in is going to reduce the quality of the look of this image. But I also want you to be able to see the difference in noise in the before and after. So, okay, first I'm gonna increase the temporal threshold Luma Chroma slider just a bit here. Remember, you want your noise reduction to be subtle. You don't wanna push it too far so that things look unnatural. Let's turn the effect off for a sec to see the before. Okay, and here's the after. Okay, so that's done a good job, but I can clean this clip up even more using spatial noise reduction. For you to see what this is doing, I'm going to add another serial node by right-clicking, add node, add serial. 
Okay, so I'll drag noise reduction onto this new node, go to spatial noise reduction and change mode to better. Of course, you could always push it even further by choosing enhanced, but I gotta say, I find you only really need to use enhanced if you have to push lumen chroma far. Otherwise, in most cases, better does a great job and uses less processing power. Next, I'll uncheck luma chroma same threshold because I want to work with these separately. And before we do, let's zoom in way more because I'm gonna show you this. So the blacks here are supposed to be black, but in some cases, like with this clip, there are some blue, green, and or red blotches. That's what spatial NR can help reduce and remove. So I'll adjust the luma to around 13 and the chroma to around 27. Let's check out the before and after. You can also really see the difference here in the before and after. Okay, that's done a good job. Now, because I've added noise reduction to this clip, I'm finding things are looking a bit soft. So if your image is looking a bit softer as well, you can always sharpen it. Let's add a new node, go to the blur adjustment icon, click on it, and we can slightly bring down the radius, which brings more sharpness to this image. On a side note, if you want to learn more about how to sharpen footage or how to sharpen a particular part of your footage, like someone's eyes, for example, then check out my how to sharpen in DaVinci Resolve tutorial. If you like the music in this video or you want to know the gear that we use, check out the description below. For lots more DaVinci videos as well as videography tips and tricks and gear reviews, subscribe to our channel. And with that, I hope you have a lovely rest of the week. Thanks for checking this video out and we'll see you in another one.